FBT60 was kind of founded by me out of a necessity. I went to the doctor uh, about five years ago, and um, he spun his laptop around and said, you know, didn't give me very good news. And uh, I've been doing this for 25 years, traveling around the country, doing speaking engagements, teaching pros, teaching members. And so I came up with a nutrition plan, and it's only three pages long, and it basically says this is bad and this is good. And so we, we have what we call the Fab Five. Um, it's good fats and bad fats. Carbs are another thing. You have to have fruits and you have to have vegetables, which are your good carbs. What you don't want is your bad carbs. But they're very high in sugars too, and so that was the next thing with sugars. Um, there's good sugars and bad sugars. The fourth thing is sodium. That was a huge kryptonite for me because I pre-salted everything. Portions, you know, not only the portions that you eat, which I had a problem with that, you know, I didn't eat small portions throughout the day. I would eat very little throughout the day and then one big dinner. The thing about it was, was first of all, I knew I had to make a, uh, uh, the lifestyle nutritional change. But then, you know, I didn't want to be on the treadmill. I didn't want to be on the elliptical. I really wanted to be on the tennis court. I was doing the drills I normally do, and some friends of mine I saw I had lost weight. I lost 15 pounds in the course of 60 days. That's why we call it Fit by 10 60 days, because I thought that was pretty exceptional yeah. in 60 days. Yeah. But the, the drills I did, I saw, some of my friends would see me do the drills, and all of a sudden they're like, those are really cool drills. And I'm like, really? I think they're pretty basic drills. But right. they found them very cool because they were innovative enough to keep you always moving. And that's the thing is most people, when they hit off the machine, they just stand in one place and grind the stroke. Where This one forces you to only hit 15 balls, and you're gassed. And it's like circuit training. We give you a standard, standard warm-up. You go through a dynamic stretching. You go through a warm-up. You go through about 10 drills. You're going to hit about five, 600 balls. You're like circuit training. You're going to do the drill, rest 20 seconds, do the drill, rest 20 seconds, do it one more time, rest 20 seconds, and on to the next drill. We wanted it to be free because I think it kind of saved my life in terms of, yeah. uh, I know that sounds kind of corny or cliche, but it kind of did. If you go to FBT60.com, it's all free. You print out the workout sheets, you come to the club, um, you can even go to the, um, you can even go to likemydrill.com and there's okay. a 99 cent app that actually has the drills in it. It's part of the iPlaymate Tennis that it can actually control the ball machine too, but you don't have to control the ball machine with it. You can actually just see the drills in the program on your phone. So. Oh, but it's awesome all stuff. free. It's all free at FBT60.com. There's a link to all the drills. There's 70 free drills up there for you. I'm really excited to get the rest of our group here involved a little bit and find out what FBT60. And I'm just excited to find out what they have to say about it because sure. if they like it, we're doing it. So yeah, that's awesome. Let's get to work. There's, there's three different kinds of drills we're going to do tonight. We're going to have besiders. We're going to do something called touching goes. We're going to do something called zone to zones, where we take the same ball and play it in a different zone, but it's the same ball played a different way. So you can see as your ball is passing the front of the machine, it's throwing another ball. We're just going to do a couple of these and we're going to talk about it a little bit. There's actually two things we're concerned about here. Our vertical space and our horizontal space with the ball. Too high, right? Strike zone good. Too close to it. Let it drop. Let it drop. Better, but too high. Okay, that's one drill. Okay, let's go to another one. Okay, ready? Here we go. Give me some high knees over there. Give me some high knees. Okay, we're going to do all-time backhands now. So backhands from this side. So you got backhand, 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 backhand. You know, let that ball drop. Get away from that backhand. Get away from it. Better. Now left. Karaoke's on the side, and then you go through the cones when you're done. Here we go. That's it. Almost. Let it drop. Let it drop more. Let it drop. Be patient. Let it drop. There you go. Get set up a little earlier though. Set up, set up, set up, set up, stop. We're gonna and then go a little bit more offensive. So we're gonna go upper level strike zone right here. Racket's gonna be a little higher and we're gonna step in and crack it. Find it, find it, find it. Yes! Better, a lot better my man. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Better. Ready, get up there, get up there. Oh my man! Woo! Yeah, how could you, how could you follow that? <laughs> Too low, right? Get it up higher, Forehand, get it up higher. pow, backhand, pow. Forehand, pow, there we go. So, don't swing, it's coming too fast, just right there, right there. One more. Okay, overheads. Give me two lines of overheads. If you're second in line, go out to the side. Second in line, out to the side. Touch the cone, touch the cone. 
He's celebrating, he's celebrating his overhead and doesn't touch comb. Touch comb! Next up. If you're next in line, next in, if you're next in, next in line, two. Next in line, come on up here. Still doing speed skaters. Make sure you go through the cones so after you're done. Up here, we're gonna get a high approach shot. You're gonna smack it. The next ball is gonna be that same high approach shot, but remember I told you we swing at some volleys? Move up. Yes, that away. It's away. Move back. Now move back. There you go. Good. Then move up. Move up. Faster, here we go. Lightning around here. Forehand. Backhand. Forehand. That's it. Go, go, go. Here we go. Forehand, backhand, forehand. Get beside the ball. Get beside the ball. Get beside it. That's it. Forehand, backhand, forehand. I really liked it. I think it helped me a lot to figure out where I need to be hitting the ball and where I need to be moving my feet and having my body. Um, so I thought it was great. It was really helpful. And to play afterwards, I really noticed a difference. So is this something you'd like to see happen at your club? Yeah, I think it would be great. I'd love to do it. If anything, it's just a good reminder to where you should be hitting the ball. I get really complacent in my matches, and I just smack the heck out of the ball because it's there in front of me. So it reminded me of where should I be, where's my strike zone, what kind of ball is this, and where should I be following me through. It's uh, just a really great way to get myself going again and realize I've got uh, 60 days ahead of me that um, hopefully can be all consecutive days that I can lose. The, uh, the hump, good size group like we have, it was pretty nice um, share time, I guess I could say, behind the ball.